Many of us have unhealthy eating habits, but there are some cases where food just outright betrays the customer. Here are some bizarre ways in which people have died in the top 10 unusual deaths caused by food. Number 10, Adolf Frederick. This former king of Sweden gorged himself on a feast fit for 10 on February 12, 1771. The king pigged out on lobster, caviar, sauerkraut, herring, champagne, and 14 servings of semla served in hot milk. According to reports, he died that same day of indigestion problems. Someone should have talked to him about the pleasures of moderation. Number 9. Vladimir Likonos There's nothing like blowing the perfect bubble when chewing some gum, right? Well, what about when the bubble pops? Vladimir Likonos unfortunately found himself in the worst case scenario in this situation. No, not by blowing bubble gum into his own hair, but by blowing away half his face. After accidentally dunking his gum into the explosive powder he was working on, the residue and his saliva mixed to create one explosive reaction. Number 8. Edward Arkbold There is a reason that shows like Fear Factor aren't popular anymore. People just don't care for the ick element involved. If you're one of those people, prepare to contort your face in horror. In 2012, along with 30 other people, Edward Arkbold consumed a number of cockroaches, two ounces of mealworms, and 35 hornworms in a python winning contest. He collapsed on the spot due to roach parts that obstructed his airway. Number 7. Basil Brown Apparently, 18th century kings aren't the only ones who need to have a talk about moderation. To say that Basil Brown was a bit of a health nut would be an understatement. Brown died in 1974 due to hypervita minosis A after destroying his liver by consuming a gallon of carrot juice a day and handfuls of vitamin A on days when he didn't care for the taste of carrots. Number 6. Bando Mitsuguro the Eighth. For those who aren't familiar with fugu, here's a quick catch-up. Fugu is meat from blowfish species that are served as a delicacy in Japan, Korea, and some parts of China. These fish have extremely toxic livers, and chefs must have specialized training to prepare these fish. This didn't stop Bando Mitsugoro VIII, the famed kabuki performer, who insisted that he was strong enough to ingest the toxin and ordered platefuls of the illegal substance. Mitsugoro was, indeed, not strong enough to survive the poison. Number 5. Sherwood Anderson Be careful when consuming those mini cocktail foods they serve at kitsch events or, of course, when sipping on your favorite cocktail, as novelist Sherwood Anderson found out after being rushed to the hospital with severe stomach pains. Sherwood died a few days later and doctors determined the cause to be a toothpick, which damaged the writer's organs and caused an internal infection. Presumably, the toothpick was from a martini olive. Number 4. Steve Peregrine Took If you're going to change your name, this guy might have some pointers for you. However, when it comes to ways of celebrating, you may not want to pay too much attention to his methods. One evening in 1980, Took received news that the royalties he was owed were about to be paid to him. In celebration, Took threw a huge bash and ingested a mixture of magic mushrooms, morphine, and booze, which dumped his face just enough for him not to notice a cocktail cherry sliding into his throat and blocking his airway. Number 3. George Plantagenet Royalty really does get the best in life, and that includes executions. The former Duke of Clarence played a vital role in betraying his brother Edward IV during the War of the Roses. As a punishment, he was executed, allegedly in the most bizarre way, by being drowned in a butt of Malmsey, his favorite wine. Number 2. Ilda Vitor Massil 88-year-old Ilda Vitor Massil died tragically in her hospital bed in Rio de Janeiro one September evening in 2012. The cause? Instead of injecting the necessary liquid into the feeding tube that Ilda was hooked up to, a nurse accidentally injected soup into her IV. The cause of death is listed as pulmonary embolism, which was likely caused by the soup. Number 1. Vincent Smith Jr. Like something straight out of the famous Roald Dahl book, Vincent Smith Jr. died after falling into a gigantic vat of molten chocolate. While adding solid chocolate into the vat, Smith slipped from his ledge and was killed by the propellers that churned the mixture. An inquiry into the Pennsylvania-based Lions & Sons Chocolate Factory 
showed that the place was improperly licensed and was promptly shut down. As usual, thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see more awesome top 10 clips. We come out with top 10 videos just for you every week. Be sure to like this clip and leave a comment. Then feel free to go ahead and check out one of our other top 10 videos that you see on the screen right now. You can also now follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and other social media platforms.